beyond and above the technology that Paul has developed in the association with Moog, we really did set out to make just a, the finest playing instrument we could. And yesterday we had an artist in here who is a world-class um, classical uh, guitar player. And he put it in the piezo mode, and he was playing these beautiful, you know, John Williams pieces and this, you know, 20th century classical stuff just so fluidly on the instrument. It really blew me away how much just the instrument translated just as a really an acoustic instrument. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to talk a little bit about what Paul has introduced to the instrument. And um, as Paul said, we can uh, coherently really control the way the string moves. And um, in, the, in the kind of most basic form of that, the, the easiest way to think is you can give energy to a string and force it to vibrate, or you can take energy away from the string. And the big leap in technology here is that um, is that we're doing it in the same place on the string at the same point in time. So we have this incredible uh, coherency, and that's that enables this thing to be very organic and very powerful. And I'm first going to um, demonstrate the the kind of the most obvious form of changing the motion of the string is to give it energy, and, and most people know about sustain. the volume of the guitar down. You're probably your sensitive microphones can probably hear it, but I encourage you guys to reach out and touch the guitar. Reach Put your hands on it. It's the healing session. <laughs> Saturday morning. I camera. say amen. <laughs> it's alive. The point being is that um, this is all happening acoustically in the string. And if we're just quiet for a second, let's just listen to this thing vibrate. That's just the instrument, and that's a really profound thing. In fact, the first uh, prototype that Paul uh, worked on was a purely acoustic guitar. He took a Taylor guitar and put this technology in it, and it's really mind-blowing to see an acoustic instrument, um, uh, you know, it just bring this whole life. And, and the, the beauty of it is that it's happening in the wood, it's happening on the string, so you're feeling it. It really brings you back, the inspiration of bringing it back to the actual you know, when you were a kid and you picked up an acoustic instrument for the first time, you felt that wood vibrating against you, that inspiration, the connection, that intimate connection and soul that you have with the instrument. So that alone is an incredibly profound, profound aspect of the instrument. Um, and um, just listening to what happens with the overtones on the strings. this instrument that you've that never been able to do before, but it does it in this incredibly organic and connected way to your playing. So that's the sustainer aspect, which Paul talked about giving energy to the string, and I'm going to let Jason talk about the anti. The you're anti the anti. Sustain. You're the anti of this demo. 